Section 3.6, derivative of inverse functions. And basically we're talking about the basic trig function, the arc sine, arc cosine, arc secant, cosecant, cotangent. So the bottom line, we need to memorize these. I don't know if you can see them. It might be actually a better picture right here. Yep, we can see that. The derivative of arc sine is equal to arc sine of u. It's u sub prime over the square root of 1 minus u squared. The derivative of arc cosine of u, just like arc of sine, the only difference, the top is negative. Arc tangent of u, the derivative of that u bar or u prime over 1 plus u squared. The derivative of arc cotangent of u, just like arc tangent, again with the exception the top is negative. Arc secant, the derivative of that is u sub prime over the absolute value of u times u squ square root of u squared minus 1. And the cosecant is the same thing as the secant with the exception of the minus. So we need to memorize these six derivatives. Now this is a very short section in our book. We have a few examples to do. Should take about 10 minutes. So the question, what is the derivative? That's the first question. The derivative of arc sine 2x. In case you can see that, I write the derivative of the arc sine. The derivative arc sine of u is equal to u sub prime over square root of 1 minus u squared. So in this example, u happens to be 2x. That's what u right there. So what's the derivative of that? 2. So plug in the information into this. And your answer is going to be 2 divided by the square root of 1 minus. Now square the 2x. What's 2x? The whole thing is squared. 4x squared. Let's try this one. What's the derivative? of arc 10, 3x. Again, let's write the derivative of arc 10 it's u sub prime over 1 plus u squared. Now, let u equals, in this case, u will be 3x. That means u sub prime is going to be the derivative of that, which is 3. Fill in the blank. That will be 3 over 1 plus. What is 3x when you square it? Is that 9x squared? Done. couple more examples, then we'll, we'll go home. What is the derivative d dx of arc cosine the square root of x? According to our book, the derivative of arc cosine of u is negative u sub prime over the square root of 1 minus u squared. So u here is the square root of x, which you can write x to the power of 1 half. 
What is the derivative of that? It's one half x to the power of negative one half or one over two times the square root of x. So let's plug in the answer. Negative one over two times the square root of x divided by the square root of one minus now when you square a square root you lose the square root sign and algebraically if you simplify this it's going to be negative one over two times the square root of x times the square root of one minus x and if you don't like to see two square roots on the bottom you can rewrite that as Multiply them, x times 1, which is x, x times x, x squared. And the last one, notice again, if you memorize these rules, it's really straightforward. What's the derivative? dx will use instead of dt. Uh, I can make it dt of arc secan e to the 2t. Instead of x we're using t. The derivative of arc secan u is u sub prime over absolute value of u times the square root of u squared minus 1. So if I know what u and u prime is, then I'm done. Well, u here is going to be e to the 2t. u sub prime is going to be the derivative of that, which is 2 times e to the 2t. So let's fill in the blank. 2e to the 2t. e to the 2t. Notice I didn't use an absolute value. Why not? Because this value is always a plus, and the absolute value of a positive number is the number itself. So this is always positive. I don't need the absolute value for that. e to the 2t square it. That's e to the 4t. Not t squared, just 4t minus the 1. Why 4t? Because it's e to the 2t times e to the 2t. And when you multiply, you add your exponents. Now multiply them, you add them. So e to the 4t minus 1. And the only thing I can do at this point is simplify this, because these two will cancel each other out. And my final answer is going to be 2 divided by the square root of e to the 4t minus 1. And that is the last piece of tonight.